Are you annoyed of having to open and close that one door whilst getting through it? Or are you also tired of having to hit a tiny one button to get through that iron door? Well, in any case, if you're annoyed of a door, I have the redstone door for you. Just hold your horses. I run away. Guys, so before I get right into the tutorial, uh, I just want to say that I actually now have a Discord. Nobody seems to have seen the video where I actually announced it. Um, and it will be in the top right of the screen and in the description. Now, the first, I don't know, 20, 30, we'll see. People that send me a screenshot of the subscribe bar under underneath the video with the notification bell on. If they send that in the applications channel, I I will might give you a VIP rank depending on how many people already have sent it. So yeah, um, if you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, you may have noticed, uh, yeah, uh, I've got a second account up there, uh, just for a few time lapses. But other than that, so uh, this is a two-way under over door. Basically, it's a door, but you don't need to worry about opening it. And these are the materials you'll need. Uh, the beds represent uh, unstackable items. The two glass represent the door, technically speaking, because it's a two-way. So I don't want to accidentally get stuck. Well, if you don't know what I mean, you'll see. Button is for if you get stuck. And these are all the materials. So if you want to pause, please go ahead and do so because I'm going to be starting the tutorial right when I get to all. So items. you're going to want to get an area that is seven blocks wide by nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, sheep. <laughs> seven eight nine and you're gonna want to dig down nine blocks sorry that took me a while uh just forgot to write that down so this is the floor so we'll go down one two three four five six seven eight nine now hopefully that is correct so now you're gonna want to dig all of this out so this is gonna i'm gonna time lapse this with that account So, to begin this build, what you're going to want to do is play, build a beam across the center uh, as kind of a reference point. Then take your two glass, place that in the center, and then take two solid blocks, or four I guess. I just put them there because it's easier for the next task, which is uh, placing some s smooth stone slabs. Uh, I actually forgot to put... 12, yeah, 12 of them into the materials list, so that's one thing. Also, uh, after doing a few dry runs, uh, I f remembered that I forgot some other slabs, so whatever your flooring is, try and find a slab that fits it well, because you're going to need that. So, after you do this sort of thing with the stone, smooth stone slabs, what you're going to want to do afterwards is come out and place the pressure plates because that's kind of the activator system of the, of the entire build. So, after that, what you're going to want to do is go under one of the pressure plates, place one block, uh, place a dropper on the side of that block. Uh, no, I want that hopper. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, you want the hopper there facing into it. Place an unstackable item into there so then what you're going to want to do is get some redstone place that on top of the dropper make sure you do not have a block on top of the hopper because that can ruin the system so after that what you're going to do is come out and place a comparator running into a block and then repeater block or this is going to be where the repeater is so there's a repeater 
Um, and then what you're gonna do, and I'm missing everything right now. Um, I, good, I'm good right now. So then you're gonna want to place a redstone torch there. Go underneath it, place the slab. The reason there's a slab here is because there's actually gonna be a sticky piston underneath it. So I can't have that redstone signal interfering with the sticky piston. So then do this. This is actually gonna be part of the chamber area thingy you'll see later. And now you're gonna take a three tick repeater output from that block, go block up, place some redstone dust there, take three of your pistons, and you're gonna make the piston dory thingy. I don't know if that's the right word to say it. Uh but you can cover up if you want, and that's the activation system done, I believe. Yes. Good. So then next task is to place a block here. Put some redstone dust on top with a redstone torch on the side. Come out, uh, place redstone dust on top and another torch. Come down to redstone, and then you're going to want to come out two blocks. Take two repeaters, place them on top, set them to four ticks. And this is where the redstone where a block is going to go. That's, that's, this is where the repeat. Uh, repeater piston goes that I was talking about which is the reason why this is a slab so then you can grab two, one of your slime blocks put it on there what else and then you're gonna go over here we'll place a torch there come out and place a block with redstone dust on top another torch and then you're gonna place another block and then dust on top no torch this time you're gonna do this sort of U thingy and place a repeater set to one tick, nope, two ticks, and place a piece of redstone dust on top. And then you're gonna do this. Now, you're gonna wanna take three repeaters, set them here. I meant to place one right there, and set all three, two, three tick, uh, three ticks, four ticks, and then a sticky piston and place a slime block on top so then what you're gonna do is right here you're gonna place a torch and place another redstone a block with another redstone torch on top and then place a block beside it with a repeater set to four ticks that runs into a block drop that down redstone dust more redstone dust on the side here and then do this the reason it has this gap here is because there's this block that is right here for the other copy of that system if you swing it around or something whatever and you're gonna run a comparator into there and comparator facing that way with dust there which runs into a block with a torch on top and then place a red uh, redstone repeater sticky piston on top so then after that you're going to quickly go over here it is nearly done just place it on that torch block torch not where i want the block place a block there and dust and that is the system main system done now just make sure that there's an item in there and after that you're going to want to build the backup system which i'm just going to call that because it's basically a backup just in case he gets stuck inside the system. So what you're going to want to do is place a hobby piece of obsidian right there with a button on top. Now you're going to want to place a dropper right there. I'm going to plop one of the un unstackable items inside. Place a uh, hopper right there. And you're going to want to take out a signal via comparator placed right here with a repeater in front of it set to zero, uh, one tick which is the default and then you're going to want to do this setup redstone dust redstone dust here you're going to want to place a block and then a repeater set to four ticks and then you're going to want to place blocks all the way and just redstone dust because that's kind of the most re reliable signal after I did some testing so yeah that's that's the 
that's literally the entire system set up. So now I just gotta flip it. Uh, well, copy and flip it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna either do this in a time lapse or not. So see you in a bit. Okay, so now that it's now that the circuitry is all completed, all that's left to do is to actually build the kind of tunnel. Which, like, I it definitely wouldn't doesn't look wouldn't look nice to be able to see all this redstone. So, uh, the way that all this that it works is on top of the droppers, you can just stack it up all the way to here. At which point it becomes it starts in the middle. Uh, so yeah. And then for obsidian, you're going to want to put it on top, side, and then all here, just because, just so that nobody has to stare at the ugly redstone. And if I can get out, there we go, and there we go, block, block, block dee doo -de -de -de. Yeah, and same thing on the other side. Obsidian, 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 obsidian. Obby, 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 do, 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 obby, and stone bricks, stone bricks, stone bricks, and there we go. So now, one quick thing. I'd recommend doing is grabbing a torch because survival is dark in here. So then, if you want to, you can survival test this, which I guess I might as well show you guys that I do not take any damage. And I don't know why, dude. Slash survival game mode S. So there we go. Hit the button. Perfect. Uh, that should work. And then test this side. Yeah, perfect. Right, I forgot about that. Parkour test. Okay, so let's try this. Perfect. Okay, as you saw, that block went up. So it went. It was down so that the comparator couldn't power anything, and then it went up. So now. As you can see, basically how this works is you get hit by a slime block. Now, the main reason for that is actually due to uh, some issues I had um, when I was testing it, or testing the idea, because when you're on slime blocks, it's much harder to eat, be pushed, and the max push distance of a slime block is like three and a half or something. So, yeah, slime blocks didn't help, so I just decided to try hitting someone at midair. So that's also why I put these so that it's more on time, and also why there's like a small time at which point it's open. Just so that it's easier for the system to actually accurately determine when you're coming through, and it doesn't have to guess. So, uh, now... All that's left to do is to clean up the floor. And that's actually, there's one, actually one pretty big thing left. So before you go ahead and fill in the entire floor, take two slabs, the two slabs that I mentioned earlier, place them on top of the hopper with the, uh, on the top half of the block. Cause that, that means that the hopper will not be powered at all by the redstone dust right there. So yeah, that's some pretty big, that's a pretty big important thing there. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, let me quickly just do this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This was a, this took me just about a year, and overall on and off to design figure out the cl the problems 
So I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, also, I'd be more than willing to show the old versions or the old test models. I have a few laying around in my Redstone test world. Um, so if it, this video gets 20 likes, I'd be more than willing to make a video out of those. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoy. Discord is in the description. Uh, I've actually got a new schedule that is also in the description. So yeah, like I said, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and other than that, see you in the next video.